Solid Snake, David, the man who makes the impossible possible. Solid Snake is a character that, on the surface, appears like your run-of-the-mill military commando, Rambo plus James Bond. However, that's a bit of a misconception. The Metal Gear universe is full of giant nuclear robots, vampires, sci-fi weaponry, and at the center of it all is Snake. Now before we go into how powerful Solid Snake is, we should set the groundwork for scaling in Metal Gear. Kept you waiting, huh? I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Solid Snake is a clone of Big Boss, and while the details of the cloning process have a fast and loose approach to real-world science, I'll let Snake's twin clone brother Liquid explain it. As we With the combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. So, it was you and I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But, they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. Player would discover through Metal Gear Solid's post credit scene, it would turn out David was the recessive clone. Despite this, Snake was able to beat Liquid in hand-to-hand -hand twice. Once, literally, and the second time against Liquid's doppelganger, Liquid Ocelot. But I'll explain the nature of that a bit later. The main point of MGS1 is that our genes don't define us, that our accomplishments aren't bound by our bloodline. So given that, Snake's feats would supersede his apparent recessive handicap. But before even that, Big Boss was one of two. The other was Venom Snake, a top soldier within Big Boss's private military, Militaire Sans Frontiers, who, through induced hypnagogia, experienced all missions that Big Boss had lived through up to that point. This method of brainwashing was employed by Revolver Ocelot, who would go on to assimilate Liquid's experiences to fool the world-controlling Patriot's AI. Solid Snake was able to defeat Liquid Snake, Venom Snake, and Big Boss, so he would scale above them, and any feats shown by the prior characters could be attributed to Solid Snake. Also, in regards to canon, I'll be using feats and statements from Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, MGS1, MGS2, MGS3, Portable Ops, MGS4, MGS5, and the Metal Gear Solid 4 database, the officially licensed encyclopedia compiling information from the saga. For all the die-hard Metal Gear fans, Portable Ops has been stated canon by Kojima, the series director and word of God himself. Going as far to say that the story of Portable Ops is inextricably tied to Metal Gear Solid 4. I'll also be using feats from the remake of MGS1, The Twin Snakes. The game uses a revised script from MGS1, changing Naomi and Mei Ling's accents, which carried over to MGS4. The thing about The Twin Snakes is everyone in the fandom regards the cutscenes as ridiculous and over the top. The thing about that is, the game's cutscenes were at first going to be the same as the originals, until Kojima himself encouraged their director, Ryuhei Kitamura, to inject his style into the game. The bottom line is, take it or leave it. Any feat Snake does in Twin Snakes, he could do without it. With that... Zero as well. You erased me two times before. Today will mark the third. Solid Snake was born and bred for combat. He joined the Green Braids as a kid. He has a 180 IQ and speaks six languages fluently. 
He is an expert in high altitude skydiving, scuba diving, closed circuit, open circuit, combat diving, free climbing, as well as acrobatics. He would join the elite army black ops unit Foxhound, where he would receive training from Big Boss himself, including being taught CQC, which we'll discuss later. At the age of 23, Solid Snake surpassed even Big Boss's expectations by infiltrating Outer Heaven. Between Metal Gear 1 and 2, he joined the CIA, where he would become a deep cover operative. The skill would be most showcased where he assumed the identity of Iroquois Pliskin, fooling the advanced Patriots AI and the numerous times he disguised himself as the enemy as a means to sneak through their lines. Safe to say he is a master of stealth, sneaking his way through Outer Heaven, Zanzibar Land, Shadow Moses, the list goes on. Solid Snake is also a master in hand-to-hand -hand combat. While a video by Godzilla Rex does a better job explaining the details of Snake's martial art prowess, according to that video, Snake knows Judo, Judo, Jujutsu, Aikido, Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Karate, Boxing, Kali, Taijutsu, Intonjutsu, Kayakujutsu, Shinobi Iri, Oryaku, Chimon, Choho, Suiren, Kenjutsu, Hensojutsu, Bajutsu, piloting, and tactical weapons expert. He would have learned combatives from the army, a hybrid fighting style with its roots in wrestling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, judo, sambo, muay thai, boxing, and escrima. From his time in the CIA, he trained in Krav Maga, honed his skills in jiu-jitsu, and learned to fight with improvised weapons. His training under Big Boss would teach him sword fighting, showcased by Venom Snake, as well as Solid Snake's own admission of his preference for firearms. He even told Raiden the tutorial on how to use the blade. His biggest takeaway from Big Boss besides these nightmares I've been having for the past three years was CQC. While the previously mentioned combatives is the real-world CQC, CQC in Metal Gear Solid is a unique martial art. It was developed and subdivided from CQB, a combat technique that uses weapons such as stun grenades, hand grenades, some machine guns, pistols, and knives, assuming limited spaces such as indoor combat or street fighting by the boss and big boss, and is characterized by its transitional effectiveness between long and short-range combat. Mistaken as Judo, CQC is effectively a hard counter to any other martial art, showing any master of CQC as arm and leg over any other combatant. Through this skill, Snake has cleared rooms of trained armed guards in seconds. The snakes have been shown as prodigious throughout the series. Naked Snake was progressively closing the skill gap between himself and the boss before proving her superior, Big Boss, as well as Old Snake, first getting blitzed by Ocelot to finally defeating him atop Arsenal Gear. However, as stated by the MGS4 database, as well as Snake himself, Snake chose not to practice CQC after Big Boss portrayed his unit. It means any skill showing by Snake between Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear Solid 4 would be a handicapped Snake as he chose not to use his most effective technique. Snake's knowledge of martial arts extends beyond my understanding, so check out Godzilla Rex's video on the topic for a more in-depth look. Regardless, Snake has also been shown to be a master of military equipment. He's seemingly able to pick up and use any weapon he finds, being used to the stipulations of on-site procurement missions. He has an encyclopedic knowledge of weaponry, sighting enemy arms by eye, even accurately identifying a helicopter by the sound of its rotors. While bafflingly not knowing how to fly a helicopter, he was able to pilot Metal Gear Rex with enough proficiency to defeat Metal Gear Ray, a counter to Rex built by the Marines. While his skills as a tracker are admittedly less than Big Boss's, he was able to track a person through multiple paths of jungle terrain while being aided by a solid eye which can detect footprints. When it comes to raw strength, Snake has been shown snapping handcuffs. The standard handcuffs are built with a tensile strength of 495 pounds, as well as wielding a railgun, stated to pack as much force as a tank turret. The same model of railgun was wielded by Fortune in MGS2, who needed her force field technology to protect herself from the gun's blowback. Snake only had his octo camo. It is standard equipment and would go towards Snake's strength regardless, Snake would evidently be able to bear this all on his own, seeing as Big Boss is able to halt and toss up both Metal Gear Zeke as well as Cocoon before they could crush him. Cocoon was a giant attack craft built alongside Peace Walker by Huey Emmerich, who stated Peace Walker weighed 500 tons. However, Cocoon is much larger than Peace Walker, and 500 tons would be a low ball. This feat has been calced at 32,551.446 metric tons. All calculations used will be in the description. 
Seeing as Solid is cloned from Big Boss, and Snake himself has shown superhuman levels of strength, it goes to reason that Solid Snake would be able to perform comparable feats. In Governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. In regards to speed, Snake is pretty ridiculous. Venom Snake showcased a sprinting speed of 21.748 miles per hour, or 35 kilometers an hour. This closely resembles Usain Bolt's average speed of the slightly higher 37.58 kilometers an hour. However, this isn't for a simple 100 meter dash. An MGS5 Snake can crank this speed out on a dime and seemingly has no need to stop. Even more insane is an off-screen feat showcased in MGS2. He was able to swim and catch up to Metal Gear Ray, an amphibious Metal Gear manufactured by the Marines, put a tracker on it, swim back to the New York City shore, and run to Federal Hall, all in time for Raiden to defeat Solidus Snake in a sword duel boss fight. The time between Snake diving to returning plus the time of the boss fight comes out to around 26 and a half minutes. Big Shell, which Arsenal Gear was directly under, was stationed 30 kilometers off the Manhattan shore. This places Snake's running slash swimming speed at 61 miles per hour. But as the Dark Knight has pointed out, travel speed and reaction speed are two different matters. Both Big Boss and Venom Snake have their patented reflex mode, based on their lightning fast reaction times. With this, they can clear a room of multiple enemies before a body hits the ground. Snake has been shown casually dodging bullets, once even to Olga, whose gun was hidden in the bottom of her blade. Snake still dodged at nearly point-blank range. Snake was able to defeat Gray Fox in hand-to-hand -hand multiple times, the same Gray Fox that, even prior to his Foxhound training and cyborg enhancements, could effortlessly block bullets with his machete and blitz a room of armed soldiers. Post his cyborg enhancements, Gray Fox could react to and dodge the gunfire from Metal Gear Rex's 2x30mm XGAU-8R rotary cannons. The most comparable cannon to this in the real world is the GAU-19, which has a muzzle velocity of 2,910 feet per second. Revolver Ocelot could react to shots of Vulcan's electricity. The electricity clearly doesn't move at lightning speed, as it's been calced at Mach 20.49, or Hypersonic Plus. Both Big Boss and Solid have been shown swapping hands and bullets with the same Ocelot. Snake's best showing here is ironically seen at Snake's worst. Snake was cloned with the intent to be a weapon, and due to the threat he might pose if he were to oppose his Patriot creators, his lifespan was shortened. The effects could be seen as, while only being 42 at the time of MGS4, his body was effectively in his 70s, and he would have less than a year to live. Despite this, and being in a blizzard, Old Snake was able to dodge incoming fire from the same railgun he would later possess, mimicking his encounter with Sniper Wolf nine years prior. As mentioned before, the railgun was a miniaturized version of Metal Gear Rex's railgun, which was stated to have a muzzle velocity of over 100 kilometers per second by its chief designer, Hal Emmerich. This would place Snake's top reaction speed at massively hypersonic. Attack potency and durability go hand in hand. Per Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So easy to say, whatever damage Snake can output, he can withstand. When it comes to striking strength, Snake famously punched through a wall to enter Grey Fox's cell in Metal Gear 1. As well, in Metal Gear Solid 4, Liquid Ocelot was able to dent Outer Haven with a punch. Outer Haven was the completed model of Arsenal Gear, a nearly invulnerable fortress which had prior toppled and crushed multiple New York City skyscrapers. Outer Haven itself had tanked missiles from the USS Missouri. The USS Missouri's typical armament is the Tomahawk missile, which, according to NBCNews.com, is powerful enough to destroy a house or blast a crater roughly 20 feet wide. Snake didn't earn the moniker Man Who Makes the Impossible Possible by being flimsy. Old Snake crawled through a hallway constantly bombarding him with microwaves. These microwaves were stated to be able to vaporize human beings. Snake was in the hallway for 3 minutes and 8 seconds. Calx put this feat at building level plus. In Metal Gear Solid 3, Big Boss would stood torture from Vulgan, who was stated to have 10 million volts of electricity at his command. 10 million volts equals 23.55 tons of TNT, and seeing as Big Boss survived this, and Snake was able to defeat Venom Snake and Big Boss, as well as Liquid Ocelot, who would certainly scale to Big Boss, if not through Liquid, through Ocelot. Given this, Snake would have to have at least city block attack potency, as well as durability. But that's without weapons. Snake has been shown able to harm Vamp, 
a nanomachine enhanced soldier whose abilities resemble traditional vampires. Vamp is relative to MGS4 Raiden, who has been shown capable of producing jewels equivalent to 156.78 tons of TNT when he halted Outer Haven, missing an arm mind you. Raiden, however, was in tight contention with four Gecko units, Gecko units that could be dispatched by Snake's heavy weapons, as well as easily destroyed by a damaged Metal Gear Rex, the same Rex that was damaged by a combination of Gray Fox and Solid Snake himself. Based on these scalings and calculations, Snake weapons are able to output multi-city block levels of attack potency. Oh, and Old Snake can knock over Geckos with a barrel roll. Seeing as four Geckos could restrain Raiden, take a fourth of Raiden's max output against Haven, that's 39.195 tons of TNT. What? no end. No matter how far you go, or how many corpses you crawl over, the killing will never end. Solid Snake was able to resist Psycho Mantis's mind control, a psychokinetic who could create vivid illusions in the minds of characters like Venom. As well as possess beings like Vulcan. Through his insulated sneaking suit, as well as an anti-freezing peptide in his blood, Snake is totally protected from extreme temperatures. This was showcased when Big Boss, in his 1970-era Fox unit sneaking suit, casually withstood liquid nitrogen, which can be between negative 346 and negative 320.44 degrees Fahrenheit. Sneaking suits as well have built-in defenses against toxins. Speaking of the sneaking suit, Snake has one of the most extensive and robust arsenals in video games. He has access to dozens of handguns, rifles, machine guns, rocket launchers, explosives, radars, detectors, a directional microphone, an anti-personnel sensor that detects enemies' heartbeats and body temperatures, chaff grenades to disrupt electronics, and so on. He has infinite ammo via the Infinity Bandana, the Patriot which has infinite ammo on its own, the railgun he took from Crying Wolf, the Tiny Gashima, a musket that has a 1 in 3 chance of producing a tornado-like whirlwind, as well as the Solar Gun, a gun which draws in sunlight to be used as ammunition. While non-lethal, a fully charged shot immediately knocks out any of the AI-regulated super soldiers represented in MGS4. The Mantis Doll, a marionette which fires a ghost-like wisp, once hit, Snake could control the bodies of an opponent with active nanomachines, eventually leading to their death. One could argue the doll would work without these nanomachines, as the doll was shown to be an extension of Psycho Mantis, whom can influence those without nanomachines. He also possesses emotive ammo, ammunition that causes those hit by it to enter a fit of uncontrollable emotion, either crying, screaming, laughter, or rage. He can also imbue smoke grenades with the previously mentioned emotions the solid eye, an all-purpose goggle that acts as a binocular, as well as heat-detecting night vision. It can also read enemies' emotional and physical states through analyzing their body temperature, heart rate, and sweat levels. If it doesn't do the job, he also has a standard night vision and thermal goggle. He has a threat ring, which detects enemies in 360 degrees. He can detect spirits through either his camera, sorrow doll, or soliton radar, which detects the electromagnetic waves resulting from biological reactions. This allows him to detect enemies' locations, as well as their field of vision. Snake is commonly adorned in a sneaking suit, the most advanced of which is the Octo Camo. It took use of an advanced technology that can mimic the color and shape of any material. It has the ability to remain hidden from infrared sensors thanks to its micro peltier array for regulating heat absorption and release. With this, he could make use of the crying, screaming, laughing, and raging camo, which causes enemies to collapse under intense emotion, as well as the snake camo, which allows snake to knock out opponents in one hit, the haven camo, which makes snake 99% camouflage, the fly camo, which makes snake's opponents faint if they attempt to grab snake, the beauty camo, which drains an enemy's psyche, defined as the human soul, mind, or spirit, when snake CQ sees them. The suit is also equipped with a regeneration function that promotes cellular phospholipid production by passing a weak electrical current through the suit. Additional features include muscular augmentation that reduces load forces exerted on the wearer, giving Snake a healing factor as well as a boost to his already monstrous strength. It was also durable enough to withstand railgun fire, as well as the microwave hallway. He eventually found a mask of the same material that could replicate the faces of various people, such as the Big Boss mask, which caused those who saw it to collapse into shock. 
It can also use the stealth camouflage, which refracts light around the user, making them essentially invisible. The same technology is used by Metal Gear Mark II and III, small remote operated mobile terminals that can carry items, emit an electric shock, interface with technology, and detect radiation. It has a 50 meter radius and is controlled using a PlayStation 3 controller. In conclusion, I hope this video changes the stigma that Snake's some kind of Jason Bourne Sam Fisher type character, and that he's got some pretty ridiculous showings. Happy as long as I brought some respect to the legendary mercenary. But I'll keep coming.